Hi, Sean Hawthorne again with your third and final Bravo tip in the series. Now I hope you've implemented the first two Bravo formula tips because they'll help you with your health, fitness, and weight loss goals. And if you haven't seen them yet, well then please check them out. The first one is about how important it is to drink more water and how to schedule this into your daily routine to develop a habit, a habit that's vital to your fitness goals. The second one is an interesting little case study about how plate size can affect your waistline. Now both of these tips should already be in your inbox. You know, you know, I've been challenged on the tips I include in the Bravo formula, mostly about the tips being too simple or how anyone can do that or how could they possibly cause change? Well, the simple answer is, if you doubt it, then try. Try to implement just one of the behavioral change tips. Do it for 30 days, then see the outcome. And when you've done that, well, then implement another and another. The results will speak for themselves. I mean, take the first tip for instance, scheduling yourself to drink water. How hard can that possibly be? You may laugh now, but go ahead, do it. Follow the instructions for just that one tip for an entire month and then check yourself out. There will be changes. I mean, not just on your waistline, but you'll have developed some mental toughness and you've given yourself a little more strength with regards to your change plan. Now, try adding tip two and then tip three. And there's so much more. So if you do all three for the 30 days, they'll add up. And when they become permanently entrenched behaviors, you'll see amazing results. But you have to do it, and you have to do it often, at least every day, you know, I mean, for a minimum of a month. On that note, here is our third and final tip in the series. Changing old habits and creating new ones takes effort. It takes mental effort. And Roy Baumeister is one of the world's most influential and esteemed professors in the field of social psychology at the University of Florida. He and his colleagues, develop the muscle model idea of willpower. Now this is the idea that the more you use your willpower over time, the stronger it gets. But just like a muscle, it gets tired. It fatigues and it needs a little rest to regain its strength. Now the technical term for this weakening of our self-regulation, well, and self-regulation is the technical term for self-control or willpower, is ego depletion. So resisting temptation passing by that plate of cookies our coworker brought in, exercising our self-control temporarily weakens it, but over time, in the long run, it makes it stronger. Now, there's more to this story. With further study, what they also found was that just making choices, something we do all day long, I mean, right down to what to wear to work or school in the morning, this also causes ego depletion. But they found ways to boost the health meter, you know, to restore some of that willpower. So let me, let me give you an example. So let's say it's the end of the day and you're just feeling a little low after a long, hard day at work. I mean, it was your plan to head to the gym and get some cardio in, but you feel a bit too brain dead, you know, just too tired today. <laughs> Tomorrow's gonna be a much better day. Well, what you're suffering from is ego depletion. And what several studies have shown is that a positive affect, which is just a good mood, it could be a little laughter, is one way to restore your self-control and to boost that willpower. So it's the end of the day, it's the end of your day, and you're waffling on getting in some planned exercise. Well, <laughs> try clicking on YouTube, watch a funny video, give yourself a good laugh and boost that willpower. Then go do your workout because Really, every time you stick to your plan, it strengthens both your biceps and your brain. It's a win. It's a small victory that builds upon itself, like a positive feedback loop that just builds more power and more steam with every step on your path to change. Now, <laughs> that one shouldn't be too hard. Who doesn't like to laugh and who doesn't like YouTube at work? I mean, <laughs> and when's the last time you heard of laughter being implemented into your fitness program? So in the last three tips, we've discussed three ways to implement change by training yourself to adopt three very simple new behaviors. And we've also explained why they're important. 
The Bravo formula is really about getting a behavioral reboot. I mean, we explain the science behind each tip we teach, and most of all, we're there to help you stay motivated. And staying motivated is something you have to do in order to see and feel the results you want. I mean, and when you do transform that desire for change into motivation, and then you take action, you'll have achieved that vitality overhaul you've been looking for. Now, as promised, we'll notify you when the Bravo formula is released, and you're guaranteed to get 50% off that purchase price. And if you're in, you know, if you're the type who loves to share cool tips and you've been building points by sharing the Bravo formula link, you may be one of the top five who'll get the Bravo formula for free. With the bonus, one hour consultation with me, where I'll help you design your change plan to fit your lifestyle. We'll see you soon.